How's it going everybody? Welcome back. And can Tunnel Bear be trusted? Some of you guys have been asking. The short answer is definitely yes. Actually, Tunnel Bear is one of the only free VPNs that can be trusted. Typically, with free VPNs, they log your data, they sell it to third-party companies, and you know you get a lot of limitations. But the cool thing about um, Tunnel Bear is that, first of all, unlike other free VPNs, they will give you access to all of their servers, which is super cool. However, you will get limited data. So I'm only gonna be able to use 1.5 gigabytes for the entire month, and I'll get an extra gigabyte if I tweet about them. So this is only going to be good if you want to temporarily secure your device over on public Wi-Fi or something like that. You're not gonna be able to torrent, peer-to-peer -to -peer activity is not allowed, and you're not gonna be able to unblock streaming services because Tunnel Bear does not invest in that. Well, even if you upgrade to to the premium version of Tunnel Bear. But with regards to trust, however, I think Tunnel Bear is really one of the best free VPNs that really treat their users as best as they can with regards to upholding their no logs policy. So right here in the transparency report back in 2018, they confirmed that an individual has an account um, because they received a request probably from a government or something like that. And here, as they say, there's a limited set of circumstances where Tunnel Bear may be able to confirm that an individual has an account. For example, if Tunnel Bear is presented with an email address, we may be able to confirm whether or not an account with that email address exists. However, confirming that an account exists does not result in any usage information being disclosed because the data we collect does not contain IP addresses, DNS queries, the time you use TunnelBear, and any type of web traffic that can identify you on the network, which is really cool. And they also have four independent audit reports to prove uh, their security and the fact that they do uphold their no logs policy indeed. Now, most VPNs, even some of the more expensive or premium VPNs, don't even have an independent audit report to show that they do uphold their no logs policy. But with Tunnel Bear, it's really nice to see that they have four independent audits so far. And um, the, well, their last one was in 2020, but it's nice to see that they do have plenty of independent audit reports to prove the security of their service. Now, if you're not really satisfied with the limitations of, let's say, the bandwidth, you can't stream, you can't download, you can't do any of this stuff, um, you can definitely, of course, upgrade to the premium version of not Tunnel Bear, but you can definitely get yourself a VPN uh, that does all of that for you and for a similar price. Um, but of course, you're going to get a more complete VPN rather than getting a VPN such as Tunnel Bear that only secures your data and honestly, nothing else. Uh, and of course, if I haven't mentioned that, by the way, you do get a kill switch, which will kill your internet connection if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, uh, making sure they're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN. This is a very nice feature. Uh, and it's, of course, available with the free version. But again, if you're looking for a VPN that allows you to unblock all kinds of streaming services, torrent to your heart's content, and gives you all kinds of benefits and extra features, this is where Express Nord and Surfshark come in to play. So these are the best VPNs overall, top three VPNs overall. I've tested over a couple dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best for uh, privacy policy, speed, streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security features. If you're looking, for example, a very privacy and anonymity focused a VPN that's super easy to use, ExpressVPN will be the one to go for. NordVPN will focus more on performance and security, but it will also give you uh, a whole bunch of extra bonus features to just complete your VPN experience, if not just add to it, in fact. And Surfshark will be the cheapest budget VPN that gets the job done at a very budget-friendly cost without necessarily sacrificing much on privacy, speed, or features for that matter. Um, they all, of course, allow for peer-to-peer -peer activity and streaming and all kinds of benefits, but of course, they all have their own strengths. Um, and not too many weaknesses, honestly. But for more information on these VPNs, you'll find the top three VPNs video in the description down below. And you'll also find links to pricing and discounts if you'd like to take advantage of the discounts while they last. And keep in mind, they all do have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can test drive these VPNs risk-free. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.